This is Damon L. Jacobs. I'm here with Greg Ming, co-executive producer of Days of Our Lives. How are you today? I'm doing great. Yeah. Good to see you. I, I, you know, I'm here in the studio today. I'm doing all these interviews, and I feel such a sense of excitement and such a sense of, like, renewal. Um, is it just me, or am I picking up on a certain kind of energy here today? No, that energy's there. It's uh, from the cast to the camera guys to all the crew. It's it's there. It's it's a really fun place to be right now. Yeah. So what so what makes this fun, and what makes the future that much more exciting? Right well, now? I think everybody's just excited about how we've turned the show. It was getting into a little bit of a dark place, and we'd gotten ourselves into a bit of a corner, and it was time to like reset the push the reset button. So. Um, we're revitalizing the show, and I think everybody's picking up on, on the exciting stories we have, uh, the exciting returns that we have coming mm -hmm. of some people, and uh, there's all the reason to keep watching the show right now because we've got some surprises and some things and some clues that are coming into the shows now uh, for what we're calling the Reset Week, which is uh, the show's airing and starting September 26th, but from now forward, we've got stuff in those shows, in the shows now that you don't want to miss. So tell us about some of what we're going to see before the reset begins, because um, I know there's a lot happening in September and a lot of reasons why our people want to watch before the reset. Um, there are. What we're doing is in the current show starting now, we've got uh, little mini plots. Uh, What's that, a mini plot? Uh, a mini plot is a little surprise and it does have a plot. Uh, that we're inserting into the shows and it's a little thing that pops out but it can be serving as a clue um, we'll leave that up to you to figure out but we're calling them mini plots so people <laughs> watching now are going to get some clues as to certain things that are going to be happening um, soon in the I, future clues is one word but it's a myriad of words but yes <laughs> okay so look for the mini plots <laughs> okay um, there have been a lot of exciting things that have been going on and I really encourage if people have not really been enjoying the show this past year or have tuned out um, I think the time to start returning in now is happening now um, there's a lot of fun stuff especially like seeing Hope and Bo back in the center of everything, running around, solving cases, working as a team again. We have Bo and Hope actually working, yes, yes. Uh, working together, so yes, and that's fun, and actually you do need to watch now because you need to see where we're going to take this. And also, for those who have tuned out before, um, Salem has its very, very first openly gay resident ever in the history of Salem, as we know it. Um, it played by, uh, by Freddie Smith as Sonny Kiriakis, and, and that has been a really interesting story. Uh, yes, and we have a lot to come with that also, and uh, Freddie Smith, who plays Sonny, brings a lot to the table, and uh, it's interesting to have a, you know, a straight guy uh, play happily play uh, a gay role, and he's really gotten into it, and we haven't even begun with this. The, that is just being laid out and ready to start rolling. Wow. Um, and seeing the son of Adrian and Justin, which is a couple that I always loved. Yes, and absolutely, just... and they're so excited to have a gay son. And uh, they're actually very much behind it. And they're just, every day, they're like, you're like, okay, where are we going with this? Where are we going with this? Right. Um, seeing Victor Kiriakis stand up for, for a gay son. Again, just as someone who has enjoyed John Aniston for so many years, to get to see that side of him was great. Absolutely. And we don't just have a gay character on the show. We're actually going to do a gay storyline. So there's more uh, to Sonny so than just running around coming out of the closet. There's more to Sonny, and there isn't just one gay character in Salem. And that's all I can say right now. Okay, so we got to keep watching. Absolutely. <laughs> are these some of the clues we'll see in, in coming up? Uh, there are more clues than this coming up. Mm -hmm. Mini plots. Look for the mini plots. Right. <laughs> You know, you've been saying in a lot of interviews that Days is returning to kind of more traditional storytelling, kind of getting back to its roots in many ways. Is that right? Well, we are, but we're also starting back with Daryl and Marlene uh, and Noel, my co-executive producer, uh, and Ken Corday's vision, actually, behind all of this is we're trying to get back to the stories being driven by the characters so that we're not just having plots that we get in a corner with. So character-driven, we're redefining the characters uh, so we know who these characters are. Sammy has a lot of layers. Sammy's not just mm -hmm. a whiner now, we all know that. Um, so we're redefining the layers of these characters and we're bringing back some beloved people on the show, part of the family. So we're bringing the families back, the characters back, and the characters whom they are. And of course so many of us are excited about the return of Marlena and John. Um, what can you tell us about their return to the show? Uh, well, I think that everybody's going to be surprised to see how Quickly, uh, we jump in with them on the show, and they are an integral part of the show. And actually, they are like a breath of air back back home. Yeah. 
I've also loved, and this has been consistent this whole past year and a half, is what we call the magic storyline, the Victor Maggie love story that's unfolded. Right. I have been <laughs> loving that from day one. What can you preview for us about that? Um, nothing. I don't want to give anything away, but I think that's very exciting. And I think it's also interesting that their marriage forms a union. Uh, but stay tuned because there's more just more than just a union between two people. Great. And Carrie and Austin are coming back. Patrick Muldoon is, is Austin. Yes, Christy Clark is Carrie. Both very excited to be back and a lot of feedback. Very excited to see them. Uh, Patrick Muldoon hasn't been on the show for a while. Uh, but, you know, Oliver Austin's have been much beloved, but he brings a certain level to that, to that character that I think is going to be really compelling. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so Carrie, Austin, Marlena, John, Maggie, Victor, Stefano, Kate. We've got so many fan favorites Jack, from the years. Don't Jack and Jack. Charles, that was about Jack and Jennifer. <laughs> yes. Um, now, now, Jack and Jack, we know that Jennifer has had a pretty uh, hot and heavy and really, I think, interesting storyline going on with, with Sean Christian's character. Jennifer has What's a tough it? time right now, and it's going to be a while. It's like, you know, uh, you help us out. We want to, you know, who, who, what's Jennifer's dilemma, you know? Well, we're going to have to watch to find out. We're going to have to watch to find out. But yeah, Jennifer has got an interesting time. <laughs> That's great. So now, I mean, you've been with Days in one form or another for 21 years? 20, 20, oh, 21 20. years, yes. Wow. Oh my gosh, you didn't have to say that. <laughs> well, I mean, it just goes to show that that you know, you're part of this, but you have also been part of this for a long time. I've been part of the Corday family. You know, yeah. Ken Corday, the joy of this company, and I think the success of Days of Our Lives is does stem from Ken Corday. And Ken Corday carrying out the vision that his mom and dad, Betty and Ted Corday, created and that uh, Betty Corday created, uh, carried for so many years. And interestingly enough, I think Ken has probably set a record for being the longest lived uh, producer, uh, keeping a show on the air, especially in daytime. So his vision has kept this thing on. We're almost hitting the 46 year mark. Yay. It's kind of unusual. And I think he's been part of it. He's been heading it for like over 30 years, I believe. So anyway, it's all about not in only in front of the scenes and the camera, but behind the scenes, it's all about a family atmosphere. And that's been a joy to be a part of. And I can feel that. I mean, just being here, walking around, talking to people today, I definitely feel that. Is there anything else you'd like to preview for us about days coming up soon? Um, well, there are lots of surprises. We're telling lots of story. Um, got lots of feedback from the book tour that we did, uh, where we run around the country with the Days 45 uh, uh, Celebration Photos mm -hmm. book. What did and the fans generally say to you? Well, I actually... Personally, myself, met over 10,000 people one-on-one -on -one as they came through the line. And so, How many producers can tell you that? <laughs> well, it's crazy. And I want to go back because I found that invaluable. Uh, because after a while, you see a trend. And uh, one of the things that you know resonated through city to city to city was um, bring the families back, bring these characters back, be bring the people we know back, uh, bring days of our lives back to the days we, we love and want to know. And that's what we're attempting to do. So thank you for your input. And uh, we want to continue to get your input. And what is the best way for people to still give you their input and supportive, critical feedback? Um, well, certainly by watching the show. And uh, like I said, we're about to deliver a show that we think is the show that everybody wants to see. So that is the main way, is watch the show so mm -hmm. that we know that you care and like the show. And do you read the letters that get sent in? I absolutely read the letters, the emails. Our publicity department reads everything. They refer everything. I personally get stuff. Absolutely. Uh, we consider all of the fans part of our family, and we call them family of fans. Love that. All right. So that's good to know, and it's true. I mean, it, it's. I think sometimes fans think, well, if I not, you know, no one's going to listen to me if I have an opinion or if I read a letter. But you're saying these letters really do get read, and you we, have been listening to. We the do listen. Um, you know, it doesn't mean we can react to every single right. idea and thing, but it creates a picture. And so, you know, we we would like that relationship with everybody. And and I think some of the outcome of that is is seeing Deidre Hall and Drake Hogiston back. Is that sort of an outcome of hearing some of the feedback? That it you've definitely been? is an outcome. Uh, you know, when we're on these book tours, and I. I took uh, Deidre went on several cities with me. Drake went on one or two with me, and uh, you know I was practically um, you know bombarded with people like, when are they coming back on the show? And that just trend was every city, city to city. Okay, so your opinion does matter. It so does. you need to watch the show in order to have an opinion, <laughs> and then let the good people here at Days know what you think because they're listening. All right, Greg, thank you so much for thank your you. time. It's thank always you. good to speak with great. you. You too. <laughs> thank, thank you. you.